This past weekend has reaffirmed my dedication to caving in Ontario. Um, yesterday, Greg Warchel, Jeff Collins, and myself, Michael Gordon, uh, had visited a plateau that we've been uh, exploring as of late, uh, searching for shafts. We believe the shafts lead down to a, a cave system deeper within the rock. And uh, three shafts in particular that we visited. Uh, firstly, an unnamed shaft. Uh, secondly, we visited a, a shaft that we've, we've decided to call the abyss. And thirdly, we visited what we now call the death bell. Uh, reason being some very bizarre findings um, within the death bell. And uh, the video that follows will demonstrate this. So here's how our day began. Jeff Collins digging in, a, in the unnamed shaft, attempting to open up a, a tunnel that we can see beneath. So after removing this last single slab of rock, Greg Warchell slid down this, this crevice into a, a cavity beneath. He found himself in what appeared to be a, a space that was washed by running water. Greg, can you try and light up that wall that you're showing me? Just light it up so I can have a look at it. Oh, yeah. It's Very all nice. Mud. All of it. Well, this is rock. Uh huh. This is mud. Okay. Nice. But there's rock back there, too, so it goes down. And there's water goes that way, and there's sticks jammed in the top. Uh huh. And it's going. I can't tell. It kind of undercut here, and there's a tube going that way. This is just a, a huge sinkhole. You can see off towards the middle of the picture, two joints coming upwards. These joints continue deeper down. Um, into some, you can see Jeff over there. Let me get my finger out there. See, there's Jeff. He's down in a joint, so you can see the depth we're looking at. Probably looking at, well, real deep. What are you talking, buddy? I think all this flows through and then pours down into that crack down there. I think there's actually a chute you could probably go down if you dug under all that crap. So we've got some significant depth. We've got uh, Greg's just gone off to get our cable ladder here and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna descend this pit here. I just check this out. This is just typical of the garbage you find stashed into, into cave openings in out in farm fields. Always fence fencing. Reminds me of excess wire. Um, Olmsted when we first got there. That's a, that's up by Nexus Cave in the Aramosa Karst. Same kind of situation. Just coils and coils of, of wire. Seems to be a favorite with the farmers. So. There we go. This is what we're going to use. We've got a cable ladder hidden somewhere underneath there. Got a rope. Um, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. It's Craig's cable ladder. And uh, do a little bit of attachment and uh, it bells out a bit in this shaft, so it shouldn't be too hard to get down. And uh, we'll see where it goes here. It looks like. Yes. Oh. There's a bit of a dig here. Yeah, I think so. It's worth going to look at. Why is there so much? Uh, uh, so oh, there might be that side thing. It's an option. This seems to be widest down here. It fills out. Notice in Greg's right hand, he's holding the cable ladder. There it is, swinging it around. Left hand, we got some rope we're going to do a tie off with. And as you saw, he looked up at that tree, so I think that, that's that's maybe what he's thinking about. Let's see where he goes with us. So we're going down the shaft here, using the cable ladder. Slack there. Okay. You don't want a lot of slack if you fall. Smells for sure down here. It's a low stress rock. Watch that log behind your okay. head there. Maybe get rid of the log before you go down, Nick. It's resting on the fence there. 
Or is it attached to the fence? It's sitting on it. Is that a fence? Oh, it's going nowhere. It's attached? Yeah, it's tangled into it. Can you pass me my camera? Well, you're live. Yeah, I know. Just so you're filming. Is it up now? So I'm down in the shaft now. Who do we see up there? Looks like Jeff. Uh, just not a very far down. Uh, we got a cable ladder. Um, here's a real neat thing. There's a little sort of a, a, a shaft coming in from a tube to the side. Look at this uh, amazing granite boulder at the top of the, um, of the side entry shaft. It's been dropped in here by glaciers. And this is me um, photographed from beneath looking up the shaft. You can see the boulder hanging out above my head. The shaft um, drops down, 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 down to a hole. So if we're going to do a cave dig, um, I would say it's there. I can actually see that it gets bigger down below, so I'll do a bit more video down there. Um, here the other side of the, the shaft going up, 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 quite a distance up on this side. So, you're on. Thank you, sir. Can I take that off you while it's still on? Yeah. So there we are. Don't know what we're going to call this. Any thoughts for names? Collins Hall. Collins Hall, Warshall's Way. Can I show you, Greg? We're on video. Can I show you? This might be Lair. Entrusted friend, Mr. Warshall and Mr. Collins. Thank you, gents. So, as uh, Greg and I packed away the equipment um, after having descended down into the abyss, um, Jeff Collins went off on a reconnaissance of his own, and he returned quite excited to say he'd found a, a karst window in the nearby forest. This we later came to call the death bell. Big bones under here. I wonder if there's any people bones. So this is an example of a little bit of safety here. There's a rock at the lip. We need to remove the rock in order to descend the, this shaft into the room. So we're picking our bones here, as you can see. Size of, uh, size of a small child? Well, we hope not. <laughs> Come on now, don't say things like that. So. Oh no, it's probably just here. Yeah. Yeah, we've got other kind of little, little pop. There's type of bones and stuff. Something there. We pulled out. Bones. Bones. So it's a goodies. Bones of different types. Bones. Bones. Okay, let's do let's do the business to the rock. Adios. Ooh. It's gone. Tons and tons of debris still sitting on the edge here. There's still metal underneath my yeah. ass. We're gonna have to knock this stuff away. Yeah. Goes down and over there. Okay. No, there's no way to physically climb out of this. That's the ladder. Sometimes you, if you can't get your hand on it, you get wrong as you get them in the side, Jeff. Mm. You know, poking your head in and dropping stuff on it until I'm down and clear. Okay, switch your off. So at the bottom of the, of the ladder into the death bell, uh, you find yourself standing in quite a spacious uh, area. With uh, There's a little avon to the side. But you're standing on top of a pile of bones of every type. Hence the reason it's called the death bell, because animals have been falling in or been thrown in for years and years and years. And once you're inside the bell, there's no climbing out, hence, uh, hence the word death bell. So this is uh, down on the bottom of this build-out shaft, absolutely littered with, just a minute, it's littered with bones. Piled with bones. Piled, yeah, all forms of bones. Um, you can see how it bells. 
inwards, and then we're going upwards, 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 upwards. There's the joint, obviously, that it's following. Double joint, just like in the uh, the abyss that we uh, filmed earlier today. Here's a dog, I think. So there we go, down the ladder. So there's a, looks like a shaft tunnel leading on. So I'm going to have a look down there, just see what we're thinking. I don't know. So what's your impressions here in this uh, pit here, Greg, or uh, Jeff? I think it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's a perfect bell shape, possible dig, very interesting. Bones everywhere. Possibilities. The floor is absolutely covered with bones and... Some um, modern, maybe some old, I don't know. Some old, some modern, some carnivore. Like look at the teeth on this bad boy. Doggies. Carnivore. Um, there's deer skulls. Uh, there's uh, skulls of types of which I have no idea what they are. Ribs everywhere. It's just filled with ribs. And then, of course, we've got our our tunnel here leading off deeper in. Um, looking down. Okay, I can't see much down there. Looking down, yeah. Oh, sorry, light it up. Yeah. So that's where it kind of ends right now. It's a little wider below the ground level, but mm -hmm. uh, take a picture with your camera and see if it goes big, if it gets bigger past the restriction because I can't see it. Okay. There's no point in digging if it doesn't get any bigger. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to head in and in give that a try. What's that, uh, Jeff? I'll get in there. You're going to do it? Sure. Okay. It's getting bigger on the other side. Maybe. Oh, we're going that way? No, straight. There's air, fl there's air flow. See where the bones, see past where I dug? I can't I couldn't see any, I can't see any more than you can see here because I'm taking my head in there, but if you can get your hand and camera. All right. What on earth is that? That's like a, what is it, a dinosaur? A moose? That's huge. I think that's probably a moose because it's got the, uh, I, I mean, that's not carnivorous. It doesn't have these sort of the incisors. Eyes are forward, though. The eyes are pointing forward. That is an odd beast of some type. Makes you wonder, eh? There's another big jawbone, which is a different one. Maybe there's, where am I standing here? Move stuff so I don't crush it. So, if you're interested in uh, the kind of things we're doing and how we find caves, um, look into my book, Caving in Ontario, Exploring Buried Karst, by Michael Gordon. Um, you can check my website, www.rockwatching.wordpress.com. Uh, and there's a link there that would take you to a location where you could actually buy this book.